For this recipe you will need lemon juice from one lemon freshly squeezed then one or two teaspoons of cinnamon if you are crazy about cinnamon then use two teaspoons as I am using or if you don't have such a big crush on cinnamon just use one teaspoon then two tablespoons of brown sugar then some pecan nuts which you can leave out if uh, you, are, uh, you are allergic or you don't like nuts then a big handful of raisins 50 grams of butter about 10 uh, dry apricots 5 apples and some phyllo pastry or some uh, spring roll pastry and that's ready made Add the butter to the pan and when it's starting to melt you can directly add the sugar and the cinnamon. Now that the butter has melted completely I'm going to add the apples that I've diced really uh, small. in the cinnamon butter and cook them on a low heat for about uh, a couple of minutes. Now the apples have been cooking for uh, a couple of minutes and as I said on medium heat because you don't want to burn them. I'm gonna add the lemon juice now And I'm also going to add the raisins and the apricots that I've cut into smaller pieces. So now again give it a mix. Continue cooking everything until the apples uh, have softened. So you want the apples to be um, almost cooked through to a consistency where they keep together but they are soft. So the apples have now cooked. I think I'm pretty happy with the, how soft they are and I'm not going to cook them longer because I don't have <laughs> don't want to have any apple mash so just uh, have a look uh, when they are fairly soft but not falling apart that's when you can stop cooking them then remove them from heat and allow to cool the apples have cooled now and I tasted them and to my taste it is missing uh, a little bit of sugar I'm going to add another tablespoon of brown sugar and hopefully that's gonna do it you can either add um, one extra tablespoon or two extra tablespoons already uh, when you're making this mix or you can do as I did and then taste it and add as much as you want to add at the end also I'm going to add the pecan nuts that I have chopped and just mixing everything sheet of the pastry here and I'm going to take a big tablespoonful of the filling I'm going to <clears throat> add in the middle here so and then what you want to do is to brush the sides with a little bit of water as that will help um, the parts to oops to attach and fold the paste like this and here and there 
and then again with some water just going to close it Knotted little pies are ready and I'm going to brush them with egg wash. And I also decided I want to add a little extra crunch. So I'm going to sprinkle over just a little bit of the brown sugar. 